This video is about Nanite tessellation in Unreal Engine 5.4 and using it with both landscapes and static meshes. So let's do it. Right click in the content browser and create a new material. By default, the displacement pin isn't available. We should manually add it to the engine. Close the project and open the project folder. Go to the config folder and open the default engine file. Scroll down until you see the renderer settings. Add these two lines to the file. You can copy them from the description. Save the file and close it. And open the project again. Now we can see the displacement pin down here, but it's grayed out. In the details tab, search for Nanite. Check the enable tessellation option, and now we can use the displacement pin. We should also enable the used with Nanite option. The difference between world position offset and displacement is that world position offset can only operate on the original mesh vertices, but Nanite displacement tessellates the mesh at runtime into additional triangles to conform to the detail of the displacement map. It only generates as much triangle detail as required for the current pixel density. I've already downloaded these quicksell materials and added them to the project. Let's add these soil textures to the material. Connect the albedo to the base color input and the normal to the normal input. This one is a mask texture. It contains three textures. The R channel is AO, the G channel is roughness, and the B channel is displacement. So let's connect them like this. Let's also convert all of them to parameters. I'll also add my free UV function to control the size. Watch this video to learn how to download and use it. Apply and save the material. Create a material instance and assign it to your mesh. Keep in mind that the mesh should be nanite. So if you haven't already done it, right click on the static mesh in the content browser and under nanite, enable it. This is how it looks when nanite is disabled and this is how it looks when it's enabled. Open the material instance. Down here we can control the displacement scaling. I can increase the magnitude or decrease it. If I change the view mode to nanite triangles, we can see the tessellation happening. This is how it looks without tessellation and this is how it looks with tessellation. We can see the subtle contours on the mesh. Next I'll show you how to use it with landscapes, but before getting to that make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our communities on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. And if you're interested in supporting the channel and downloading the project file for this video, check out my Patreon. The links are in the description. When using displacement with the static meshes, we should be aware of the seams. There will be discontinuities in these areas. To see where the seams are, go to the modeling mode. On the left, select the UV section, select the mesh, and here select edit UV seams. Now we can see the seams. And these are the sphere seams. If I zoom in on the mesh, we can see that these are where the issues are. So keep this in mind when UV unwrapping your meshes. 
select the landscape and scroll down in the details tab until you see the landscape material section. Duplicate the material instance we created earlier, then drag and drop it here. Just like the mesh, we should convert our landscape to nanite. So search for nanite and enable it from here. Then click on build data. Wait a few seconds and it looks really bad. We should edit the material instance. I'll increase the size to 2.5 and decrease the displacement magnitude to 0.1 and now it looks way better. Now if I change the view mode to nanite triangles, we can see the difference. This is without tessellation and this is with tessellation. And that's it. Click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe and join our communities on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.